Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about the best stocks to buy, as well as the latest stock market news updates that investors need to know about. With that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories, and with that being said, let's get right into it. According to the article, stocks plunged yesterday after hotter than anticipated inflation data came in, and it seems that Home Depot was one of the stocks that really felt the brute force of this negative inflation data, which caused the general indexes as well as some individual stocks to decrease in the respected prices. We see the NASDAQ down around 0.84%, the S&P 500 down around 0.95%, and the Dow Jones down just above 1% in the respected prices for these indexes. But it seems that some individual stocks had it even worse, considering Home Depot dropped by around 3%, down to just $350.56 per share, even though I still am buying Home Depot at this time because fundamentally they are a very strong company. Now, if you didn't know, the Consumer Price Index report recently was released, and this measures how much everyday goods and services cost right now. And this report showed that last month's inflation remained stubbornly above what the Federal Reserve wanted it to be, and this means that they are not going to lower rates when they originally planned to. So what does this mean for investors? Well, it means two main things. The first thing it means is that everyday goods and services are actually very expensive right now. And the second thing it means is that the catalyst of the Federal Reserve lowering interest rates is not gonna come as soon as investors thought it would. Now, when the Federal Reserve eventually does lower interest rates, this will positively impact the general stock market, thus causing a multitude of stocks to increase in their respective prices. To quote straight from the article, after seeing inflation fall by 3% over the course of 2023, Federal Reserve officials believed that the higher inflation readings in January and February of 2024 represented a hiccup in an otherwise downward trajectory. However, the article goes on to say, with the March reading also coming in hotter than anticipated, analysts say that this is more than a fluke. That means hopes for a June interest rate cut are dashed. To put this into perspective, investors thought the Federal Reserve was going to lower interest rates in June, which was going to act as a positive catalyst for the general stock market. But it seems that investors are not going to get their way right now. Instead, investors now have to look to September, and that's when the Federal Reserve will potentially reduce interest rates, which is going to act as a positive catalyst for the general stock market and a variety of individual stocks, especially technology and growth stocks. So please hold on for that catalyst, because it's only a matter of time before that happens. Next up, let's talk about Costco, which is one of the United States' largest wholesalers, and they are also pretty popular. The reason why Costco is in the news is because back in August, they actually started to sell golden bars to their members. And according to a Wells Fargo analyst, they believe that this company is bringing in between $100 million and $200 million a month because of this phenomenal business opportunity. Normally, people start to gravitate toward gold during times of high economic volatility or times of inflation. And this is one of the reasons why the price of gold has actually gone up by around 13% this year alone, reaching new record highs. And as inflation fears and worries continue to spread around the market, this is going to act as a very positive catalyst for gold's price and Costco's respected share price. So overall, this is great news for Costco. But that was only the first thing. The second reason why Costco is in the news is because they have increased their quarterly dividend by 13.7% year over year to $1.16 per share. This means that their annual dividend payout will be around $4.64 per share per year, which is very good, making this company have a dividend yield of around 0.64%. Also, you should know that I personally hold this company in my portfolio because fundamentally they are very solid and that's why I would encourage you to look further into this company if you don't already own them. Next up in the news, you need to have a Delta Airlines on your radar, ticker symbol D-A-L. The reason why Delta Airlines is in the news is because Wall Street estimates were absolutely obliterated because of Delta Airlines' first quarter results to where the revenue jumped by 6% up to $12.6 billion. Delta Airlines has benefited from flyers splurging on a premium seats and general travel increasing over the last few quarters. But the news gets even better because Delta believes that they will bring in a record amount of revenue due to warmer weather and people traveling during the spring and summer months. Now, what I find interesting is that despite high inflation, travel stocks such as airline companies and even cruise companies have been doing exceptionally well, just like we predicted in previous videos. According to the article, nearly half of Americans in a recent survey said that they plan to take a trip requiring either a hotel stay or a 
a flight this summer, which is great news for travel stocks. So make sure that travel stocks, especially Delta, is in your watch list. Next up, let's talk about craft food stock, which I personally do not hold in my portfolio. But I know this is a very popular stock, so I wanted to include it in today's news updates before we get into the best stocks to buy. Recently, Kraft Foods has landed themselves into hot water because according to this article, a watchdog group reported that Lunchables sold in K-12 cafeterias contain high levels of sodium along with lead, cadmium, and other chemicals. The report goes on to say that they actually have a petition in which they want to remove Kraft Foods from various cafeterias across the country. This would be a huge problem for Kraft and this could cause their share price to crash because Kraft says that schools are a $25 billion growth opportunity. So therefore, if this petition actually gets some traction, we could see Kraft's share price absolutely plummet to the ground. However, there is a problem here because older investors who grew up with things such as Lunchables or Uncrustables or other snacks like that have a real soft spot in certain adult hearts. Many investors now actually grew up eating those meals and they want their children to do the same and that's why they believe that this is okay. However, it seems that now more research has come out to where these foods could have negative health effects. So please keep your eye on Kraft Foods because they are in hot water right now. But now let's talk about the best stocks to buy, starting off with none other than Tesla and Nvidia, ticker symbol TSLA and ticker symbol NVDA respectively. Tesla, if you didn't know, is a car company, but they're also much more than that. They are an artificial intelligence company, they are an energy storage company, and they are an energy generation company. On the other side, we have Nvidia, which is a technology company that produces GPUs, which is used in artificial intelligence computing. First, let's tackle Tesla. In my opinion, Tesla is a phenomenal investment, even though a lot of negative news updates have come out about this company, but I am still going strong on this company and I'm buying this company on weakness consistently. About two years ago, the consensus earnings per share estimate for Tesla for the year of 2024 came in at around $6.40, which is a pretty strong prediction. But recently, that was lowered to around $2.70, and this is really weighing down on their share price. Many analysts are turning bearish and negative in regards to Tesla's share price, where one analyst has a sell rating on this company and a price target of $120 per share, which would value the company at around $380 billion. However, on the other end, we have another analyst who believes that this company could reach a $310 share price target by the end of the year, or at least over the next 12 months, and that would value Tesla as a company at around $1 trillion. And here's exactly how that breaks down. The analyst values Tesla's car business at $62 per share, or about $200 billion in regards to their valuation. He then goes on to say that their stationary battery power business is worth around $38 per share, and that their insurance business is around $44 per share. On top of that, the business related to self-driving technology is worth around $166 per share, or approximately $531 billion in regards to evaluation. And when we add all of that up, that's how he gets his $310 price target, which I think is pretty on point. In my personal opinion, if Tesla is cheaper than $200 per share, you should be buying this company in my opinion, but always make sure to do your own research. But where does Nvidia come in on this? Well, I'll tell you. Nvidia makes chips which are needed for artificial intelligence computing, and like we said, Tesla is not just a car company, they are also an artificial intelligence company. Tesla actually interweaves these segments in regards to artificial intelligence and their car technology in regards to robotaxi or full self-driving technology. So therefore, Tesla will need Nvidia's chips to process all of this computing power. According to the analyst, he says that Tesla's highly anticipated robotaxi day may offer some important clues as to the ongoing business model shift and change of emphasis away from the increasingly oversupplied EV industry, end quote. Also, if you didn't know, their robotaxi day, or the day in which they will unveil their robotaxi technology, will be on August 8th, and I think this is going to be phenomenal and act as a very positive catalyst for their share price. But before we get to August 8th, I think there are two other catalysts, and one is going to act as a negative catalyst, and the other one could potentially act as a positive catalyst, and here's what I mean. On April 23rd, Tesla will disclose their first quarter earnings results, and honestly, I am not going to be impressed with what they are anticipated to bring in, and I think this will weigh down their share price. On top of that, we also have the company set to deliver their quarterly delivery results on July 2nd, and it seems that the delivery numbers may be more positive than their earnings results. However, despite both of these things, the big catalyst is going to be on August 8th. So even if the April 23rd catalyst is negative and the July 2nd catalyst is also negative, that is just going to give you a better buying opportunity in my opinion. But always make sure to do your own research before 
you make any investment decision. Next up, let's talk about the e-commerce company named Amazon, which is one of my all-time favorite companies to buy. So let's talk about why they are such a good stock to buy right now. Well, the reason why I personally am investing into this company right now is because they are ahead of the curve. Essentially, they are rapidly replacing employees with robots. Just recently, they have deployed over 750,000 robots to work alongside their employees. Right now, Amazon is bringing on hundreds of thousands of robots per year to replace or to work alongside employees, which is saving Amazon loads of money. Currently, Amazon is implementing two different types of robots, like Sequoia and Digit, which are designed to perform repetitive tasks, thereby improving efficiencies and and safety. For some context, Sequoia speeds up inventory management and order processing in their fulfillment centers. On the other hand, Digit is a robot which was developed in collaboration with Agility Robotics, handles tasks like moving empty tote boxes. But when we really think about this, there is good news and bad news here, because it seems that a lot of people are going to be losing their jobs potentially. Even though right now Amazon asserts that these robots are meant to work alongside other human employees, eventually robots will replace their human employees in some capacities. So even though this development is just starting off with assisting various employees with repetitive tasks and to improve efficiency as well as workplace safety, there are concerns about job displacement and the implications that artificial intelligence will have on the workforce at Amazon. We even have some hard data on this. For instance, research from institutions like the Massachusetts Institute of Technology has shown that industrial robots have had a significant negative impact on workers. This affects their jobs and their wages. So it seems that this is going to be a challenge for Amazon and society at large. Automation is very good and it does maximize benefits and bring in the company a lot of money and it also saves the company a lot of money. However, it does displace employees. Eventually, I think a law will have to be passed in this regard, but it seems that Amazon is ahead of the curve in this regard. So they are going to be saving loads of money and that's why I think this will positively impact their overall share price. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this down below in the comments. Comments. Next up, let's talk about Apple, which is a gigantic technology company, ticker symbol AAPL. The reason why Apple is in the news is because they are anticipated to release their new iPhone this fall, which is supposed to be AI enabled. I think this is going to act as a phenomenal buying opportunity for investors before this company starts to climb in their share price, because recently they've actually fallen in their share price around a 9.1% year to date, which makes it a great buying opportunity right now in my opinion. But again, always make sure to do your own research. And it seems that I'm not alone in this, because a JP Morgan analyst said this, and I quote, the increasing appetite from investors has largely been driven by interest in participating in the cyclical upsides associated with the AI on device led upgrade cycle, with investors taking the cue from the 5G led upgrade cycle. End quote. Essentially, he's saying that investors are identifying an upgrade cycle which normally positively impacts their respected share price. The article goes on to say that the iPhone 16 is due to be presented this fall and is likely to have AI features built into it to attract more buyers. This is why this JP Morgan analyst maintained his overweight rating on Apple stock, which is good news, but he did trim his price target from $215 down to just $210 per share. Despite this downgrade from a JP Morgan analyst, a Bank of America analyst actually chimed in and reiterated their buy rating on this company and they gave Apple a price target of $225 over the next 12 months and they had this to justify their price target by saying the following and I quote in our opinion, the street continues to underestimate the long-term gross margin potential for Apple across both products and services. They go on to say, We see gross margins at Apple headed significantly higher, driven by increased mix of services within the overall portfolio. Essentially, this analyst is saying that the other analysts are wrong, and they really underestimate the potential for Apple to grow their margins, which will increase their overall earnings potential. For me personally, I agree more with the Bank of America analyst, and considering that Apple is only trading at $175 per share right now, depending on either analyst that we choose, this company still has a lot of upside left in them, which is why I personally am heavily investing into this company right now, but I would love to hear your thoughts down below about this. With that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you in the next YT video.